Hey, Algebra 2, good to see you. Today, we've talked about exponents. We know what exponents are. We haven't talked too much about operations with exponents, so I wanna get just a little formal notes in on a short Wednesday so we know exactly what we're talking about and we can remember all of our rules. You definitely should have learned this before. So for this, I mean, I'm not gonna check off notes, but you know, watch it, get some examples, make sure you remember those rules, refresh yourself, get whatever you need down in your notes. Here's a quick exponent review. This is the base. This is the exponent. Tells you how many times to multiply that base, right? So a to the power of b is a times a times a times a, so ever many times, however long b is. Maybe b is like 13, right? They multiply a 13 times. So 4 to the third power is 4 times 4 times 4. You can multiply that all up later, right? x to the fourth power is x times x times x times x. All right, so that's just the basics of our exponents. Pause if you need to. Okay, let's look at some rules here. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the zero power rule. If you have anything to the power of zero, it's just one, all right? A to the zero power is equal to one. That's easy. So 10 to the zero power, one. Y to the zero power, anything to the zero power is just one. Pause if you need to. We're gonna be going through these quick. The power rule. So this is talking about powers to another power, all right? So if you have a to the power of m, and then you're raising all of that to the power of n, another power, what you're going to do to simplify these is you're just gonna take those two exponents, a and m, and you're gonna multiply them. So it's the same thing as saying a to the power of n times m, all right? For example, six squared to the power of three, and if you, yeah, I can write it a different way maybe. Six squared to the power of three, I'm just gonna raise it even higher, right? Same thing. Really, it's just six to the power of two times three, my exponents. It's just the same thing as six to the power of six. So x to the fourth power to the 10th power, right? That is the same thing as x to the 40th power. Pause if you need to. Negative exponents. All right, here's your little rule. If you have a to the power of a negative exponent, let's say to the power of negative n, all you're gonna do, think about flipping the fraction, right? Put that in the denominator. So technically, a to the power of uh, negative n, it's like over one, right? So you're just gonna take that and put it down in the denominator. So this becomes one over a to the power of n, all right? The exponent n is still there, but now that we flipped it, we made it happy. Now it can be positive because you took care of that. It's just one over a to the nth power. So this here, two to the power of negative three, it's got a negative, it's not happy, it wants to flip around. So let's say one over two to the third power, and I can simplify that even more. I know two to the third power is two times two times two, two times two is four, times another two is eight. So really, it's the same thing as one over eight, all right? P to the power of negative eight, same thing as one over P to the power of eight. That's an eight. I'm gonna put one more example up there. What if you had M squared over X to the negative third power? Okay, the m squared is happy. He's positive, right? It's a positive exponent. You don't need to do anything with him. So he's gonna stay in the numerator, but the x to the negative third power, or x to the power of negative three, he's not happy. He needs to flip around. So instead of being in the denominator, he's gonna flip up to the numerator and you're just gonna have x to the third power, all right? Pause if you need to. I like that last example. Uh, all right. Product rule. What if you have two exponents, they have the same base, 
but different powers and they're being multiplied together. So if you have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep that same base, same base of n, but you're going to take those exponents and add them together, all right? So here, I'm multiplying exponents. They have the same base of two, but I'm just gonna add the exponents. So that is two to the power of three plus negative five, which is, I'm gonna simplify that down because I can add those together, right? Three plus a negative five is a negative two. So two to the power of negative two, hey, it's a negative exponent. Throw it in the denominator, right? That is the same, I'm running out of room, so I'm gonna jump down here. It's the same thing as one over two squared, which is one over four, one fourth. Okay. Next one down here, x to the fourth power times x squared, same basis, just add your exponents, x to the sixth power, pause if you need to. I think this is one of the last ones here. a over m divided by a over n, quotient rule, quotient think division, we're writing it as a fraction. Instead of adding your exponents like we did when we multiplied them, we are just going to subtract our exponents. So here, subtract your exponents, keep the same base. Uh, so a to the power of m minus n. So here I have x to the fifth power over x to the third power. Keep the same base, subtract those exponents. Same thing as x squared. Over here, now we have two different variables that we're working with. It's okay, just you know, stick with one variable, get that done, then move on to the next one. I have x cubed times y squared over x squared times y to the fifth power. Let's deal with the x's first. All right, they're being divided, so I'm gonna subtract their exponents. So x, uh, x to the third power over x squared is just x to the first power. I'm just gonna say it's x, because obviously it's just x. y squared, y to the fifth power. If I subtract those exponents, it's two minus five. Two minus five is a negative three. All right, hey, it's a negative exponent. Again, let's flip it to the bottom, make it happy. So it's really the same thing as x, I'm gonna run out of room again, over y cubed. That's a y cubed down there. Pause if you need to. And that was it. All right, formal exponents. We're gonna use those, all right? Especially when we're multiplying and dividing uh, our polynomials. So keep those in mind. Make sure you have some of those examples or some of those rules down. Thank you all, and that was it. If you have questions, let me know. Or if you want some challenging problems, let me know. Bye.